Few figures throughout history have captured imaginations quite like Arthur, the once and future king. But how much of what we know is true? Join us as we journey back in time to uncover the man behind the myth. Get ready to uncover some unbelievable facts about this iconic figure. Was Arthur a real king or simply a figment of imagination? The historical evidence is shrouded in mist. Some historians propose that Arthur was a Romano-British leader who fought against the Saxon invaders in the 5th and 6th centuries. They point to possible mentions of Arthur in early Welsh poems and chronicles, whispers of a warrior who united his people against a common enemy. However, concrete evidence remains tantalizingly out of reach. The scarcity of tangible proof has led some scholars to believe that Arthur is primarily a literary creation, a symbol of hope and courage born from a tumultuous era. Whether he walked among us or not, his story continues to captivate and inspire. The image of a young Arthur effortlessly drawing a magical sword from a stone is one of the most iconic in Western literature. The sword, often named in later tales as Excalibur, represented far more than a mere weapon. It was a divine symbol of kingship bestowed upon Arthur by forces beyond the realm of men. Only the rightful king, chosen by destiny, could possess such a blade. Arthur's ability to draw the sword proved his worthiness to rule, not through lineage or conquest, but through some higher mystical power. This tale has resonated through the ages, reminding us that true leadership is not simply inherited, but earned. Arthur's court at Camelot was not merely a gathering of warriors, but a fellowship bound by a shared code of honor. Central to this brotherhood was the Round Table, a symbol of equality and unity. Unlike traditional tables of the time, which often implied a hierarchy of importance, the Round Table's circular design ensured that all knights were seated as equals. Gathered around this symbolic table were legendary figures like Lancelot, Gawain and Percival, each renowned for their chivalry and prowess in battle. The Knights of the Round Table were more than warriors. They were exemplars of virtue, striving to embody the highest ideals of knighthood. Their stories continue to inspire us to act with courage, integrity and compassion in our own lives. No figure looms larger in Arthurian legend than Merlin, the enigmatic wizard who served as both mentor and protector to the young king. A master of magic and prophecy, Merlin possessed wisdom that transcended human understanding. It was Merlin who orchestrated Arthur's birth, arranged for his upbringing in secret, and guided him to claim his rightful place on the throne. His counsel was invaluable to Arthur, helping him to navigate the treacherous waters of power and responsibility. Merlin's magic was a force of nature, capable of conjuring storms, transforming men into animals, and peering into the mists of time to foresee the future. He represented the mystical heart of Arthurian legend, a world where anything was possible. Camelot, Arthur's fabled kingdom, has come to symbolize a golden age of peace and prosperity. More than just a castle, it represented an ideal, a place where justice prevailed and the arts and culture flourished. Within Camelot's walls, knights trained in the art of combat, musicians filled the halls with beautiful melodies, and storytellers captivated the court with tales of bravery and adventure. The splendor of Camelot was not limited to its physical beauty. It also reflected the character of its inhabitants, who strove to live by Arthur's code of chivalry and honor. Although the exact location of Camelot remains shrouded in mystery, its legacy as a symbol of hope and aspiration continues to endure. The quest for the Holy Grail is one of the most enduring motifs in Arthurian literature, symbolizing the pursuit of spiritual enlightenment and divine grace. The Grail itself, often depicted as a cup or chalice, was said to possess miraculous powers. For Arthur's knights, the Grail represented the pinnacle of chivalry. It was a test of their faith, their purity and their commitment to a higher purpose. The journey to find the Grail was fraught with peril, both physical and spiritual. Knights faced treacherous landscapes, battled mythical creatures, and confronted their own inner demons in their relentless pursuit of the sacred relic. The quest for the Holy Grail transcended the realm of a mere treasure hunt, becoming a metaphor for the human search for meaning and purpose. Excalibur, the magical sword gifted to Arthur by the Lady of the Lake, stands as a symbol of his divine right to rule. 
More than just a weapon, it possessed extraordinary power capable of vanquishing any foe. The gleaming blade, said to be forged in the otherworldly realm of Avalon, was imbued with enchantment. It granted Arthur strength in battle, protected him from harm and served as a visible reminder of his destiny. Unlike the sword in the stone, which represented Arthur's right to rule, Excalibur embodied the power and responsibility that came with kingship. The legend of Excalibur reminds us that true power must be wielded with wisdom and restraint. The Battle of Camelon casts a long shadow over Arthurian legend, marking the tragic downfall of a noble king and the end of a golden era. Mordred, Arthur's illegitimate son, fueled by a lust for power, ignited the flames of rebellion. He rallied those who resented Arthur's rule, exploiting the cracks that had formed in the once unbreakable fellowship of the Round Table. The clash between Arthur and Mordred on the blood-soaked fields of Camelon was a battle for the very soul of Britain. Though Arthur ultimately triumphed over Mordred, striking down his treacherous son, the victory came at a devastating cost. Mortally wounded, the king was carried to the mystical island of Avalon, his fate forever shrouded in mystery. The love triangle between Arthur, Guinevere and Lancelot stands as one of the most enduring and tragic tales of love and loss. Guinevere, Arthur's queen, was renowned for her beauty, intelligence and compassion. Lancelot, the bravest of Arthur's knights, was bound to his king by an oath of loyalty. Yet, an undeniable passion ignited between him and Guinevere, a love that would have devastating consequences for all involved. The betrayal of trust cut deep, especially for Arthur, who loved both his wife and his closest friend dearly. The story of Guinevere and Lancelot serves as a cautionary tale about the destructive power of forbidden love and the complexities of human relationships. Though Arthur met his end at the Battle of Camlan, his story did not end there. Legend tells us that he did not die, but was taken to the mystical island of Avalon, his wounds healed by magical forces. The belief persists that Arthur will one day return to Britain in its hour of greatest need. He awaits the moment when darkness threatens to engulf the land, ready to rise once more and lead his people to victory. The prophecy of Arthur's return has served as a beacon of hope for centuries, a testament to the enduring power of his legend. His true legacy lies in the ideals he embodied, courage, honor, justice, and compassion. Thanks for watching. We've only just scratched the surface of the vast and intricate world of King Arthur. His story passed down through generations continues to fascinate and inspire us. If you enjoyed learning about King Arthur, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating historical facts. See you next time.